Hi, this video is just a test of this particular floor mat, so it's nothing special. It's just me uh, playing around really, so I'm not going to be doing anything majorly difficult. But let's get going. What I'm going to be doing is taking the integral of ln squared x. So this notation basically means ln x squared, so it's the integral of ln x squared, like that. Basically the same thing. So how can we approach this? Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a u sub. So I'm going to say let u equal ln x. Okay. So if I want to find out what x is, if I take e to that power and e to that power, so e to the u is equal to e to the ln x. You can see ln and e will cancel. So we're just left with x being equal to e to the u. Now du, that is going to be the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x dx. If we multiply both sides here by x, we get x over x here, which will cancel itself out, leaving dx by itself, and we'll get x du. So dx is equal to x du. But we want to change this from in terms of x to in terms of u. So we need to change the x. So dx will be e to the u du. So now we can rewrite this integral in terms of u. As you can see, u is ln x. So this is just u squared. And then du, sorry, dx is e to the u du. OK, so that's our integral in terms of u. Now we're going to use integration by parts. And I'm going to use the tabular method. So let's put our table up here. So there's a differentiation column and our integration column. What am I going to differentiate? Well, no choice really, it's u squared. And we're going to integrate e to the u. OK, so next row, minus, derivative of u squared is 2u. Integral of e to the u, in terms of u, is e to the u. Derivative of 2u is 2. And again, this stays as e to the u. Derivative of 2, which is just a constant, is 0. And e to the u. So this is good, because we've ended up with 0 in the derivative column, which means we don't need to bother ourselves with the integral of the bottom row, because it's nulled out with the zero. So all we need is the diagonal products here. So we have u squared e to the u minus 2u e to the u plus 2 e to the u. But we do have e to the u in every term here, so we can factor that. We'll put e to the u there, open our brackets, and we have u squared, which will be multiplied by 1, so that's just u squared, take away, 2u and then that becomes 1, so it's just 2u, plus, and 2 times 1 is 2. So there we go. But we're still in terms of u, and the question was in terms of x, so we need to put it back into terms of x, so I'll do this over here. So e to the u, as you can see here, is just x. u squared, well, u is ln x, so that's going to be ln squared x, minus 2u. Well, again, u is ln x, so that's 2 ln x, and plus 2 is just 2. And that is it. So we'll add the plus c, and that is the answer. Thank you for watching. Bye.